Hello there inventors. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we have looked at the plan to master Linux and all the technologies that Linux uses. If you think it's not for you, and if you're looking for a fun nerdy way to learn Linux as a hobby, then I would suggest having a look at the following steps presented in this video. You can always add your own steps if you think that will add more fun to it. So let's begin. Step number one, take a laptop and try out various distros and pick one. So what are distros? Distros, short for distributions, can be simply thought of as a packages of Linux kernel and some applications grouped together for easier installation. These packages differ from one another and are made keeping in mind the different kinds of end users. Some of the popular distros include the following. Ubuntu Desktop for home users, Ubuntu Server for servers, Lubuntu and Puppy Linux for resource-constrained hardware, Kali Linux for penetration testing, Raspbian for Raspberry Pi, and OpenELEC for home entertainment systems. An exhaustive list of all available distros will have more than 100 names on it. I leave it up to you to Google and find the one that works best for you. How to try out distros? The best part about this step is trying out distros has become easier than ever. You don't need to completely replace the operating system you are running with Linux. There are basically three options you can try. You can install Linux using a virtual box and play with it. You can install Linux on a USB drive and boot your laptop from the USB drive. You can install Linux alongside your main operating system and choose which one to use each time you turn on your computer. If you have a fairly powerful machine, I suggest you to use the first option of trying distros using the virtual box. Here, the operating system will be installed inside the virtual environment and you can boot up and use Linux just like you would use any other application, say like Chrome or Microsoft Word. The entire process will not take more than an hour provided you have fast enough internet connection. There are plenty of tutorials online on how to do this and I leave it up to you to Google it and figure it out. Since this process of figuring it out for yourself is the part of the fun of going through this tinkering process of learning Linux. If VirtualBox performance seems slow on your system, you can always do it using live USB or dual boot. Step number two, then customize the distro to do whatever you want. So now that you have chosen a distro, the next step is to customize it to behave just the way you need it. Just Google getting started with your distro's name and you will find plenty of articles to help you customize your distro. You can try out several fun projects on distro like setting your own web server at home, share files on your home network, automate apps to run at specific times, change the desktop environment. Just think of some fun projects that you can do with Linux and try doing that through online research. Step number three, learn bash scripting. By now, you should have already been familiar with shell environment and how it works. But trust me, you have only scratched the surface of what you can do with shells. Even though it might not sound like a lot of fun, I suggest you to take up an online course or read up a book on Bash scripting. You can find the links to the books and online courses which we found to be very useful in the link in the description given below. 
Step number four, try out various fun projects based on Linux. In step two, you followed some online tutorials to build things. In this step, I recommend you to go back to those same projects and add more features to it than what the online tutorial showed you by using the skills you have developed thus far. At this point, you may need to learn some programming language to bring your projects to life. I suggest Python for this, as it is very easy to learn with tons of online resources and fun open source projects available on github.com. You can find the links to the books and online courses on Python, which we found to be very useful in the link in description below. Step number five, keep playing, keep exploring and keep learning. You should have now reached a level where you don't need to Google every five minutes to figure something out and you have become more independent user of Linux. At this point, do whatever you feel is fun, do some projects, do more tutorials, keep playing and keep learning. Make sure you don't always follow online tutorials. I recommend taking some ideas online and without looking at its solution, do some research and try to reproduce the same solution yourself. If you get stuck at some point, you can always go back to the solution and find how the original developer implemented it. Or if you have some ideas, you can always do some projects from scratch and post it online as tutorials. Now you have reached a stage where you can make your own Linux machine to do what you want. And you have also learned how to make your own applications in Linux using Python. Then if you need to up your game, say you need to make your own distro and make Linux to run on a custom hardware, I suggest you to take a look on our other video, which is on how to master Linux given in the link in the description below and see where you lack and which course feels more interesting and what skills you would like to gain to do that next. If you would like to learn more about Embedded System, visit our website embeddedinventor.com. If you have any questions and suggestions for the future video, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you inventors in the next one.